What's up guys, ABC Matt here. Um, today, this video is to go back to a previous video uh, where I bought three binders of Marvel cards for $20. Now, I knew that I was gonna make money, but I didn't realize how much money. So I just wanna go over what I have here. So, doing the cor um, correlating and everything like that, you know, a lot of the sets were actually like mixed up in the vet in the three binders. So um, I had to go through them. And, you know, when you go through them, it's, it's a lot of work because you got to find out what set they are from, uh, how many cards they have in the set, and what's the subset of them, how much it goes for, the quality of it, that sort of thing. Uh, you have to go through. So I just want to show a few of the cards that I got and you let me know what you think. So we have this set and how do you tell what kind of set it is? If you look at the fine print on the bottom, you're going to see 1994 in there. I don't know if you can see it. Um, 1994 right there. It's 94. It's Marvel Universe. So you see that Marvel Universe there. So you got to look it up and see where where it actually is um going for and then how many is in the set in this case you know it's nine of nine and then this particular set they have gold foil and they have regular foil um so this is the gold foil you could tell by the gold finishing here beautiful cards right so that's one set and then upon investigating I have another set so I have two of these sets and then we have another one here uh, this one is a suspended animation and these are like those acetate cards clear acetates where you get to see it has that clear finish to them and these are um, where is these from you can see it right here it's universe 94 again and there is 10 of them so you can see all of them in here now these sets I'm showing you I'll show you the comps later on um, but it was amazing I can't believe this um, I have an incomplete set here I believe and I'm trying to finish that up now when you go in places like eBay they do have people selling them individually to because they know what you are trying to achieve trying to make a set actually I do have this complete set never mind um, here's the complete set you know in in the 90s they were so big into the artwork I just uh, just loved them I remember getting them when I was like 12, 10, 11, 12. And this particular set, I have another I have another set of those. So I have two sets. Two sets of those. So that's that. And then this is probably the one that's worth the most. Um this particular set is Marvel Masterpiece. I think it's 1994 as well. They have a silver, a bronze, well, they have bronze, a silver, and a gold uh, foil. And surprisingly enough, the bronze foils go for more than the silver and gold. And that's because the bronze set was a Walmart exclusive. Now, I didn't realize that until I did some investigation on what's the difference between the silver, gold, and bronze. And why does the bronze go for more? And for the fact that it's Walmart exclusive, it makes it valuable. The comps I see on these bronze, on a bronze set like this, it's uh, $700. So I have it at a little higher than that, only because there hasn't been any listings for it for a while. Um, so it's, 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 it's really rare. And then we have another Hall of Foil set. These are pretty old. They're done by Impel. Um, and these are 1991. 
So in the back of the cards, sometimes you, you get the checklist of how many is in the set. This set has five of them, and I do have the particular five that is needed for the set. So this, this stack that I'm showing you, this particular stack I'm showing you, it's comped out like about a thousand, a thousand one hundred and five dollars, give or take. So eleven oh five. So I can't wait to list those. And then we have another set here. I comped this out at seven hundred eighty-five, maybe less because I just fumbled it. <laughs> um, but. 785 and these are another exclusive I think these are Walmart exclusive too the gold parallels there's nine of them in this so I have all nine that's one set some of the sets are actually very small like this one this particular set is only a three card set H1 H2 and H3 this one, this three card set probably comes out at $60. Not bad for a small set. Um, these are the regular foil that I mentioned that there's a gold and a regular one. This is the regular foil set. Doesn't go as much as the gold one, but I have that there. Then you have more of these. Now these particular cards are pretty cool because when you put them together it becomes like a, a big poster like uh, which is pretty cool. Then some hall of foils are actually gold like this. This is another set also from Impel 1992 this one is. Now I'm talking like Yoda. Um, here's the gold foil one of that bronze set. The gold one goes about three hundred. I sold a silver uh, set for thirty dollars. It goes for about thirty to forty dollars, but um, one card short of making another silver set. So I did buy that on eBay, uh, and I might keep that silver set. I'm not sure yet. Here's another um, set of six. And these six also forms one big card or poster. They're all interconnected, which is pretty cool. Then you have some hollow foils that are actually different colors. So you got green, orange, yellow, white, that sort of thing. But these are set as well. There's five cards in this set. So I have two sets of those. So again, this stack now this this particular stack is equivalent to about seven hundred eighty five dollars it's a lot of work you just you could tell how much I had to go through and sorting it out and everything then we have other sets like this one these are from the 90s here's the silver set that I'm missing one card short um, I did sell one of these sets before, like I said, $30. I might keep the second set once I get the final card from eBay. This gold set is a set of six, and these I think are also Walmart exclusives, and they're pretty limited. So that one goes for a good amount change. And then more of these kind of types of cards. This one is an 18 card set. And I have all 18 in here. And then we have another set here. This is tw Marvel 2099. I don't know these characters, but I have that set as well. And then we have like a set of cards here um, where I'm missing a card or two. Um, so I have to do my calculations. Is it worth buying the individual card to make the set? and still make money or is it gonna end up being more money to make the set than actually selling it so I have to figure that out so that's that now the one thing I want to ask you guys is these particular ones right here 
now these right here um, there each of these boxes is 200 count so we got two four six eight we have 800 cards here and these cards are promotional cards where you get from wizard magazine inquest um, some promos from other magazines some promos from conventions now each of these promos go for about the max maybe four dollars four to six dollars so I want to ask you guys one thing how sh would you sell something like this will you sell them 200 at a time as a lot will you sell all four of these 200 800 of them as a package will you team bag them and sell them like groups of team bags and then or do you really go to the grind and try to sell each individual one um, so I want to ask you guys in that and then actually the second question I want to ask you what do you think should I sell on whatnot should I sell on eBay what, what's your opinion on that but um, I hope you like this video I'm gonna show you the comps at the end and this is by far my biggest score I ever did reselling so that's why I'm dedicating a video to it and I'm just amazed and in awe how much profit I made so I hope you enjoy it and let me know what you think how I should sell these promo cards. Thanks for watching. Bye.